Welcome to another short from the Vet Med Digest. Hyperlipocemia or increased lipase activity in the blood is a frequent finding in veterinary critical care, but it is often not the clear indicator of acute pancreatitis we once assumed it to be. Studies reveal that significant DGGR hyphen lipase hyperlipocemia, defined as greater than three times the upper reference limit, occurs in 16% of critically ill dogs upon admission. However, nearly 70% of these dogs are not ultimately diagnosed with acute pancreatitis, suggesting the elevation is often secondary to other systemic issues. The presence of hyperlipocemia, both at admission and developing during hospitalization, is strongly associated with a negative outcome, including higher mortality rates and longer hospitalization periods. One of the most common non-pancreatic causes identified is kidney disease. In dogs with acute kidney injury, DGGR hyphen lipase activity greater than three times the upper reference limit was present in over 55% of measurements taken during hospitalization. This elevation is highly correlated with the severity of the kidney injury, specifically International Renal Interest Society grades 4 and 5, rather than solely due to hemodialysis treatment. Furthermore, extreme hyperlipocemia, exceeding 30 times the upper reference limit, was an independent predictor of death in dogs with severe acute kidney injury. Beyond kidney failure, elevated lipase levels can signal other severe problems. Marked unexplained hyperlipocemia, reaching 11 to 93 times the upper reference limit, has been identified in dogs with malignant pancreatic or hepatic tumors. In one case, an 11-year-old Siberian husky with pancreatic acinar cell carcinoma presented with hyperlipocemia and hyperamylosemia, but both returned to normal following surgical removal of the tumor, suggesting the tumor itself was the source of the excessive enzyme activity. Additionally, zinc toxicosis, often from ingesting objects like pennies, causes acute hyperlipocemia alongside hemolytic anemia, which rapidly resolves upon removing the zinc source. Even after apparent recovery from suspected acute pancreatitis, monitoring hyperlipocemia requires careful interpretation. A follow-up study tracking both DGGR hyphen lipase activity and pancreatic lipase immunoreactivity found that 22.6% of dogs still had elevated lipase levels two weeks after discharge. Importantly, most of these dogs showed minimal or no clinical signs, suggesting that persistently elevated pancreatic enzyme results may frequently be clinically irrelevant in the absence of ongoing illness. This emphasizes that high lipase activity is often a nonspecific indicator of systemic stress and organ dysfunction, not always a straightforward diagnosis of acute pancreatitis. Thank you for listening. The link for the full podcast is below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of material. From Vet Med Digest, where we keep minds inspired, hearts light, and tails wagging.